Okay, so I watched Are You Afraid of the Dark? Carnival of Doom. He tried to get me to watch it before. It was a very good special. It, in case you guys need a refreshment, Are You Afraid of the Dark was a 90s show that was on Nickelodeon and it was on some kind of other channel because it ran from Nickelodeon for like five seasons. Mm-hmm. And then I think ABC Family, like, uh, did season six and seven because they brought it back and that's why season six and seven is so hard to find but anyways um so carnival of doom is is, carnival of doom is a reboot of the old 90s show and it's about a it's about um a carnival where a guy named mr magic hat i think that's his name mr top hat is um He's luring kids to his carnival because, you know, it's like a haunted carnival and he he makes some people disappear and it's like some of the kids in town, they're like, where are my friends at, you know, because, and they see flyers for this carnival, which they never heard of, but they figured they would investigate and when they found out the horrible truth that Their friends that got captured were being hostage, basically, in a carnival by the Mr. Evil Top Hat. They decided to try to fight back, get their friends back, and try to take down Mr. Top Hat once and for all. Well, he just basically gave you the whole entire thing. So, basically, yeah, I liked it. I kind of, it kind of gave me it vibes, and it kind of gave me um, it was really cool. It was a long movie actually, two hours and ten minutes. And I'm sorry if I ruined the plot for whoever didn't see it, but no, I mean you get kind of gave a good idea of it. So yeah, you guys, I think you guys would like it if you like what I described, and if you grew up on Are You Afraid of the Dark like me and my old friend did. And I mean old. And we both like the It movies, even though it's not really... Well, it's for for teenagers, even though it's rated R, you know, 17 and up. But uh, it's... um, Are You Afraid of the Dark is for, like, pre-teens and teens. Yeah, kind of. But anyways, yeah, basically, um, I liked it. I think that, like, it was really good. Um, and I was kind of surprised, like, it did feel more like a movie instead of just a, uh, you know, three-part show. Like, it felt like a movie. Yeah, and, uh, they said that they're gonna film another season, but I think they got pushed back because of some of the issues that the country's going through, but, uh, which everybody probably knows about, but... You know, once season two, if season two does come, I know I'll... There's no season two. There's not a season one yet. I thought it was a movie. No, they... Well, because they canceled Are You Afraid of the Dark after season seven because nobody else was buying it. So when they rebooted the show, they marketed it as Are You Afraid of the Dark season one, even though technically it was season eight. But they marketed it like... It's not a season eight. I thought it was a movie. No, it's... It's a mini series. Well, that's a different than the actual. But I mean, it's still episodes in chronological order. No, it's a movie. Okay, well, movie, mini series, whatever you want to call it. It was a reboot of the old nine of the old nineteen ninety show that we all well most of us grew up with, and they said that they're gonna create um another season if we get a vaccine well you know if they if you know if they're able to film it yeah i liked it though i thought it was good i give it a four out of five what did you give it out of i give i give it a eight out of ten because i had it, well no it's out of five. Oh, okay i give it a five then because you got some really scary vibes 
And, you know, it was basically like a scary movie, but, you know, for kids and teens. Yeah. So, in any case, uh, that was the long-winded version of the story, movie, review, and we'll see you guys in the next.